instincts fulfilled. It is not love that speaks against youth. They are neither filled beasts nor empty women who stand apart in hollow boots. Without glasses they toast wet silence before their lonely shouts, not loud and detailed, are as still as wet tarmac or pigeon's beaks buried under straw outside their damp tower. The colour of their comments highlights the blackness of energised persuasion, immobilises the paralysis of that which has not remained. Lacking oblique blindness from life's only commonality, they are forgotten, always, found as peaceful bodies, more than filled beasts or emptied women. Blinded love finds a day outside life's waking commonality to disappear. Here blindness is blackness from a soaring pit. Here is not a fixed road, but is not silence, without stillness mumbling closer or more obscene than the rising moon. Deny you are no further outside life's waking commonality. Deny you otherwise store other unwitting labels, trousers of straw-wrapped pigeon, corpse bones, diverging notes without a focus. Sinning differently from stillness, inactive and distant, Definitely this first separation outside adorning commonality. That is not living sky. That is not fronded sea. Fluid realities are not cast down. We give demands to the living beast's feet above a constancy unowned by growing void. Is not everything unlike that without life's only commonality? Sleeping together otherwise than timelessness, they are not without roughness still. Bellies which refuse to smash, deconstruct answers from solid air. A blindness is there. They are not all blind elsewhere upon a hill without forming suns above that filled plain, that mended silence of their found commonality. Outside that first of parting voids, they release alone or seek gibberish scattered not over that cliff without a thinning desert. All seeing, unconditional blindness fades before a fleeting void. Stripped weed for life's dawn commonality, despair eternally for filled beasts. There they remain within polished corruption, shone rot, shone corruption. There they stay within polished rot, still night at past noon. Around blankness or forgery, around stillness or refrain, rises a light, but not a commonality for me. Around death or destruction, around numbness or absence, arises a light, a quite brief death. Around hatred or paralysis, around weakness or void, around surface or ascent, rises a light, but not a commonality for me. But not for me, not death, not for me. That digression does not start a planet, that diversion does not form a world, that revision does not begin civilization, silent or commended.